Hello, Hello everybody! Ah. Hello, you lovely degenerates, and welcome back to episode six of three, season three of Monster Mates. Woo! Welcome back! Spencer, please choose a number between one and ninety-eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Dorome girls. Dorome? Uh, let Dorome. me see. Dorome. All right. Uh, Wrong one. Do or it could be both. Probably not. Uh, let me. <laughs> hey, girl, see. can I play the song oh. while we're going at it? Dorome. It would be great. I promise. Dorome. Oh. Ah, me no. Um. Let's see. This is something similar to what we did. To to what we did. Uh, d what we did before. So we to this is similar to gnome girls, but this is more mud girls. Oh. Okay. I will read this. Uh, let's rate it first. That's true. All right. I'm going to rate this like a four. I'm probably going to rate this probably a four as well, honestly. <laughs> I just, I don't know. There's something about it. I'm like, I, I, there's some aspects I'm like, it could change my mind on. But like, when you hear Mud Girl, it doesn't sound that appetizing. Mm-hmm. All right, so when an earth elemental born from concentrated earth elements is joined with a mamono mana, it usually becomes a monster called a gnome. But if the mana is too powerful and it melts the earth elements, it will fail to become a gnome and instead become a dorime, uh, a being whose nature is closer to that of a monster than elemental. After being melted by mana, their earthen body becomes a body of sloppy, loose mud, and their sensually melted heart also becomes devoted to monstrous desire with pleasure. When they spot a man, they'll attack and attempt to intercourse while making an uh, ecstatic slime. <laughs> oh, no. An, an ecstatic smile, you mean? Oh, I read that right. I saw slime, but <laughs> a smile. Listen, man, it's just, it's just, it's an anagram. I mean, if you want to call it that, sure. Sure. Uh, their intelligence is not very high, and their movements are too sluggish. So if you notice them, escape won't be difficult. However, given that they are comprised of earth elements, they can merge with the earth and move freely below ground, only to suddenly appear at a man's feet and instantly seize him by wrapping <sighs> him with their muddy body while they do aggressively... While they do aggressively attack humans, their disposition is extremely gentle. Aww. And when they restrain a man, it's like a tender embrace. <laughs> <laughs> their mud is warm and soft, and a man will be enveloped in a comfortable pleasure even if he just surrenders himself and soaks it in. The sex isn't very intense either. They'll cover the man's body entirely with their loose body as if to firmly embrace him and gently shake their hips. Providing the man with a melting pleasure. <laughs> when monsters copulate with men uh, in this manner, they naturally make an ecstatic expression the moment they sip mana. But it seems that the Dor uh, Dormes are able to get in a pleasant, happy mode, even by just taking a man inside their mud and enveloping him. Aww. It is said that those who have obtained a husband make an extremely ecstatic expression as if they are right in the middle of sex even when they simply are embracing their husband in their muddy arms. Since they themselves are earth, even if their body crumbles or gets smashed, they can just create a new body from the ground, and therefore physical attacks won't have much effect. Additionally, if they can take in the surrounding mud and earth and make it part of their own body and freely control it. And they can even make multiple copies of their own body from the earth. <laughs> Oh, sometimes regardless of the fact that there was only one of them, before you know it, you'll find yourself surrounded by them. How much earth they can take in differs depending on the magnitude of mana possessed by the individual. Normally, the limit is only several bodies worth, but they say that sometimes they swell so much that, um, that all the visible ground or even every place all around on the floors, walls, and ceilings of a cave will, be will become part of a dorime. If a man carelessly sets for inside of one of them, he will end up having his body covered in countless muddy female bodies that suddenly appear around him. Aww. <laughs> I mean, if you like harems. I mean, I guess. 
Now this is this is bondage. Like if you like being the bondaged. Yeah, this is this is a gentle fandom type situation. <laughs> Absolutely. And I like, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if mud would feel that good. I mean, maybe. It depends on if it is warm mud or cold mud. I think it's warm mud because they said the warm, gentle embrace. Oh, true. In that case, it'll probably feel great. I don't know. I know <laughs> mud baths are, like, a thing. Yeah, and they use warm mud with it. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, well, obviously, you don't want to get a cold mud bath. That'd probably suck. Cold mud indeed sucks. I can attest to this. Disposition, lustful, composed, simple. Habitats, uh, caves, wetlands, uh, family type, spirit, elemental. But yeah. Um, what's it? Basically, these are gentle mommy fandom like mud girls. <gasps> that, yeah. they, that want your mana. Yes, they're, they're from the source. Mo mommy milf. <laughs> and as well as if you like um like the physical abuse kink or you know where they choke it's like choke me, punch me. Oh. They, you can do whatever you want to them and they'll just rebuild themselves. Yeah, they literally cannot be physically harmed. <laughs> so if you're into that, you can go ham and literally do yep. anything you want. Plus, you can have yourself your own harem with these girls. Or this girl, rather. <laughs> Alright, so is it a harem with the same girl? Or is it, my, here's my thing. Is it a harem with the same girl? Like, you have multiple of the same girl? Or is it a harem with multiple different personalities? Multiple of the same girl. Okay. I feel like... I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know why that... I'm, I, I would prefer it if it was different personalities. <laughs> You know what I mean? Not really. I can take either or. I do. <laughs> because, because if it's multiple personalities, it's almost like you feel like, yes, I have conquered more. <laughs> you know? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I feel like the whole point of like a harem, uh, like a harem show or harem doujin or anime or hentai is the fact that you have your pick. You have your different kind of choice, you know? Yes, in those situations for sure. But but, but this, it, you, it's it's like you, you get your own harem of the same chick, and it's like, yeah, like if you want the multiple thing, if you've never had them before. But like, I feel like you're missing the point of the harem. Mm, I gotta disagree there. Ah, uh, it's like hitting I, the clone button and going, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, I guess. But if you like her body, then she can do multiple things with her body in different areas at the same time. Yeah. Although, yeah. My, question, my question is, since she's made out of mud and technically not like a corporeal form, could I be like, all right, now, now put your vagina between your tits? I mean, technically, I just I ask her to so. move everything around? I mean, if you want to try that, then I guess that's physically possible i don't know like it look weird but you it could it look very strange you could have that weird belly vagina thing that you oh, saw way oh, back oh, then shut up shut up <laughs> shut up shut up you're the one who brought it up no <sighs> you brought it up you just brought it up no you're the one who was oh, talking about moving it. her body parts yeah but not that oh uh, yet you literally said <laughs> similar to that it's neither here nor there, Trevor. Oh, Listen, that is, that's incorrect. What is important but... is if you wanted to, you can now actually fuck her brains out. Yes. Literally. We've talked oh. about this before. That we, we both saw the same video and the same, like, comic. And we're just both <sighs> were like, oh, no, did this awaken something in me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Actual brain fucking actually woke up in us. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, from the picture, though, it looks like she can enlarge any part of her. Like, look at those hands. I mean, yeah. The more she's... the more mana or the more mud she has, I imagine the bigger it would get, just like with slime girls. You know, it's it's one of those things... Okay, slime... Here's the thing. Slime girls are limited to what they have on them. They're slime, you know? Whereas yeah, this, but... they have literally the entire Earth. They can... Oh, my God. Could I, could I be like, all right, get big? <laughs> Can I, can want, I even say get small? If you want your giantess thing going, then sure. You've, you, you can, can, you can even get your wally thing going if you want. Yeah, 
and I could get a I could get a lolly thing going, and you could have a giantess. I I yeah, literally. And so it's a, it's interesting. I I yeah. at first I was like I don't know mud. It's it, but it, if you put it in the same level as like slime and have that whole mentality, it's just slime but a little bit dirtier, and you're just. I don't know. I think the maintenance of keeping yourself clean constantly is kind of, like, annoying. <laughs> True. Unless you just want to be absolutely covered in mud forever, which, I mean... Do you? Because if you're not with her, you're cold mud. Here's the thing. sanitary why? Okay, if it's gonna be, if that mud's gonna get cold, no. Well, uh-uh. because when you're with her, it's warm mud because she's keeping yeah. it warm, of course. But the second you're walking away to go do anything, that mud becomes cold and crusty and hard. Well, you could always just, you know, have her be on you forever. I. <laughs> that sounds annoying. Eh. That's high maintenance. That depends. That depends if it's you asking or her asking. Oh. So if she's asking. Then I would agree that's high maintenance. If it's me asking, that's a different w- story. Would you ask? Yeah. You'd just be like, all right, be on me forever. Yeah, pretty much. I just want to be covered in the warm mud. If it's sanitary, then whatever. Who cares? Well, I mean, as sanitary as mud goes, because, I mean, it's still technically mud. Like, look, if you look at her, yeah. she literally has, like, tree branches she, in her. She has little She has little leaves. She has, that's fine, as long as they're, you know, placed correctly. So if it was, like, clean mud, like mud that was nice, clean dirt, I guess if dirt could be clean and then you had nice water and then it was like that rather than like swamp mud yeah that'd be good i don't want the swamp mud (laughs) beggars can't be choosers yeah i know so if it was in the situation that it was swamp mud uh uh-uh no if then then i will have to find somewhere to just hop in a lake if I Real if I had quick. to say I don't think this is wife material or like girlfriend material. This is definitely along the more along the lines of brothel uh, setting. I'm going to a brothel for this. Uh, this is a I'm going to go to the local mud bath and then literally have one of these girls as the mud bath. Oh, Kenko's notes on this actually. Oh. Funny enough, supposedly being enveloped in their body is warm, pleasant, and re- and restora- uh, restorative. Almost like a mud bath at a hot spring. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Literally, the brothel is a mud bath setting. Okay, I can work with that. Dormes don't have cores. The shiny brown thing you can see in the pic is her mud that got solidified. She can make any part of her body become solid. Oh, okay. So, I guess if, you, if you're if you like, yes, <laughs> make titties as hard <laughs> as possible. <laughs> For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Um, I think this is this is definitely a you want to go to the mud bath. You want to go to a brothel. Yep. You want to go to like a spa place and meet one of these to take care of you the entire time. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is something I want daily. Because yeah, I think th- this would be annoying daily. This is this is like a a basically a literal spa day kind of thing. Absolutely. Like if this was like a spa day come to come to your local brothel mud baths where the girls are literally the mud and you can be mommy femdommed she gets the knots out of your shoulders while she's giving you a bj at the same time absolutely yeah with all of her clones like that's the thing i'm okay with clones when it comes to one's giving me back massage the other one's sucking me off and the other one's making out with me like you like multitask yeah like I understand in a in a bro, in a brothel uh, setting like this, perfect. But when you come to a meeting one and like, oh yeah, give me that ten out of ten wife material. Like th- th- <laughs> this is no. It's cute though. I I think the ability of her enlarging you, like you literally, hey, hold me in your hands. She just literally makes her hands bigger and holds you. Mm-hmm. Like I like that. That's cute. Yeah. You could literally say. All right, make your titties as big as possible. Fill this room with nothing but titties. Get that J cup going. No, get the uh, get the Z cup going. Oh my goodness, that's too much. It's to never enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, you couldn't get this thing pregnant though. 
No, that'd be very impressive if you could. I no yeah, way. there I, mud babies not not possible. No, not possible. Oh God, mud wrestling. <laughs> Get two girl two mud girls together, mud wrestle. Uh, that'd be great. I think that'd be. I think that would get confusing after a while. Yeah, but you don't like, know who's who anymore. Yeah, but that's the thing. The one who comes out on top wins, True. and then the loser who didn't lose it gets. That's the listen. In my head, I already came up with like a thing where it's like you pick two girls, and then uh, you pick, and then it's like okay, and then you bet them against the other one, and then whoever loses gets used like a toy for the rest of the day. <laughs> As the one who wins gets pampered. Uh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Like li- actual like mud wrestling like tournaments. <laughs> like like WWE mud wrestling girls. Yeah. Oh that's, my goodness. I, yes, give me my ticket. Get Vince McMahon on that. He'll capitalize on I that will, real quick. I will die on that Vince McMahon hill of mud girls. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Good. It has all subplots and everything just to, for it. Like, oh my god, I want this. If one of you, if one of you lo- lovely viewers out there wants a free <laughs> idea, have Vic- Vince McMahon out in like a judge booth watching two mud girls duking it out in like a in a traditional WWE ring. That's I'm gonna, a free idea for us. Uh, as, as a that's listen, if WWE ever goes downhill, that's what he's gonna do next. And feel free to share with us. We'll totally promote it. Yeah, we'll totally not sue you for copyright so we can be in on it or anything. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I think we could read this now pretty handily. Yep. I'm okay. going to give this a solid I'm gonna give this like a seven. Now okay. I'm I'm gonna give it a seven just because it just sounds so relaxing and fun for the spa day. But if we're talking about like wife or girlfriend or just anything out in the wild kind of thing where she just uh, comes up out of nowhere, I'm not a big fan of this. It's, just, it's too dirty. It's too messy. But if you're going in specifically for for the mud, you know, like yeah, or even even Oklahoma or in Texas, you you got the, your mud things with your car you know with your trucks you just mud skirt around mm-hmm. it, like that sounds like fun but having one as a girlfriend or a wife no absolutely not this is a <laughs> brothel mud bath clone massage yeah. that that's what this is for uh i think overall i'm gonna give this an eight uh even though oh. i would not even though i know right even though i wouldn't visit this kind of girl often I think the times I would visit, it would be extremely nice. When because when you wanna, when you wanna see her, you wanna see her. Yeah, and you wanna get all the all those kinks out of your back or out of your muscles and out of your system <laughs> and, and out of your shaft. Oh, don't worry, Cabo oh, buffed off those kinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, yeah, I feel like this would be fantastic for like that one maybe once a month once every two months kind of girl uh, yeah i absolutely i it, it, what yeah it, it's super nice i like it yeah what would you rate a doro may uh dear viewer thank you so what, much for listening free? be sure to check out the wonderful artist who will do this one i bet it's gonna be fantastic whoever we get for it yes uh feel free to tell us what you think below be sure to uh what's it darn it you've got me all messed up <laughs> like um, comment and subscribe <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode feel free to give it a like <laughs> if you want to see more of this lovely podcast consider subscribing and if you want to check out the amazing artists who did the art for this thumbnail be sure to check them on twitter in the description as well as the twitter or er, as well as follow us over on twitter to get updates on the show And until then, see you all for the next episode.